in a closed society where anybody is guilty, the only crime is getting caught. In a world of thieves, the only final sin is stupidity. In a world of narcissists, the only criteria to get being narcissistic stample is to be an even more bigger jerk. This is the problem with our criteria for narcissistic personality disorder. It is too much culture bonded. Somebody how can be considered a narcissist in one society? Have not to be necessarily a narcissist in the other. This is because of the problem of healthy narcissism. Because in a society where anybody is a narcissist, according to the theory of healthy narcissism, you have to be a bigger jerk to survive. But in a society where anybody cares about each other, this is not the case. And this is my critique on the hideous idea of that there can be a healthy amount of narcissism. Because how the science with us the healthy amount if any society can be considered a different level of acceptable narcissism. For example, the United States is one of the most selfish countries on the planet. You can see it with their blindly blaming uh, problems of the coronavirus on China and, other, and saying that all bad things come from China. But do you know that actually the Spanish flow that come from your country it did actually come from Kansas? Just like the pig flu, the swine flu, North Carolina, USA. And so, these genetic diseases are coming not only from one space, they come not only from China or from the Asian world. Yes, people did get those diseases from eating bats. But the reason that bird flu they turn into the most destructive form of influenza in history. The Spanish flu of 1918. Do you know how does detrimental diseases evolve and evolve? It is because we cramp animals in small, despicable places. We have crept them with around three birds in one case sometimes, in one meter. Or even more sometimes, I've seen worst cases even. In one warehouse, in one single warehouse, the chicken industry crowds around 20,000 chickens. For example. So. Maybe if we are going to stop the next pandemic from going to realize and show themselves. Maybe it is time that we are stopping actually the animal agriculture industry. And that includes of also of course the wildlife uh, animal holocaust in China. Because to use your mind freaking little bit people if we are stopping consuming animals, which also brings you in direct contact with those animals that can have the diseases.
that will eliminate majority of all of the diseases. Specifically, the ones who are the most deadliest. Like Corona. Like uh, the Spanish flu. And then we are going also to talk about age. Do you know how people did at age? No, I can tell you this is first they get it from eating animals probably. Specifically monkeys. But probably also because uh, some of them were raping those monkeys. So, uh, like they are sometimes do in plantations in Indonesia. They are actually they are raping orangutans. Some of those plantations. Maybe another reason why not to pay for palm oil. If you don't want to support bestiality porn or sexual exploitation. Also, about the narcissistic personality trait and the so called healthy levels of narcissistic personality disorder. It seems to me that a lot of people have very high levels of narcissistic personality. It seems to me obvious. Since majority of people I know are not vegan, even they know what's happening to the animals in the animal agriculture industry. They have a complete idea of anthropocentrism, the idea that we are more important than other living beings. That misguided idea, you can say, comes from narcissistic personality disorder. Because a narcissist believes that he is more important. So collected narcissist. What do you think that is? The idea that our species is more important than another. And that's called anthropocentrism. From the Greek word anthros, meaning mankind. The old English word for our species. Then centrism, meaning focused on. And ism, which means an ideology or a philosophy. Or a legio. Atheism means just that you don't believe in a god. You can still have a religion without a god. You see it in. Atheism just means atheism. It can be translated to a religion without one deity worshipping. Learn your etymology, people. And learn to step back when you are wrong. It is not a problem that you are wrong in something. Evolve. Learn. The idea that we are more special also spread it in many different other ways. The first form of slavery was started in the Middle East around some 12,000 years ago. When we are starting to domesticate other animals. Our societies are built on the backs of animals. Without slavers. We did not can transport it. all the materials that people needed to build their castles, to defend their territories, and to be ridden by those scumbags we call knights. Most people have a very romanticized idea on policies and on knights and samurais and that kind of people but in reality 
they are not the ones that did bring social change or did do anything for the ones who are oppressed. Police force, knights, they are to enforce the might of their lords, their governments. They are neither good or bad, they are just drones, they are just tools for a government. They can be on your side, they can be on your bad side, or good side, dependent on what you want. But they are not the moral... baseline. That are the activists. Do you know what it is with societies and with laws? Societies, their laws only change when people speak up against the oppression and when the people start to understand that what I do is wrong. Don't fool yourself that slavery was stopped in the north because of people who like Lincoln. Now, it was because of people or artists starting to awake. It was because of people like William Lord Garrison. It was like because of people like Frederick Douglass. How did it speak out? And later, when we start to become more popular, those are these politicians, lawmakers, started to take the credits of the activists. That's how it always goes. The true people that are that make social change in the society. People like. Gary, Lord Garrison, and Frederick Douglass, John Africa, they were, were the people that stopped slavery in the United States. People like Alan Powell stopped at uh, discrimination to a woman. And let women have a say in the society. Speak up. Screw. Um, screw. The idea of healthy narcissism. It does not help us to grow and evolve. Specifically, the way I see it promoted in this time. We need to learn to har in harmony and stop our collected narcissism, which we maybe call uh, something like patriotism or conservatism, or maybe we are calling it nationalism, or how we want to call it. We need to learn to live in harmony as a society, as a planet and we need to disregard our bad traditions that are cruel and unnecessary and psychotic and we have to be critical on our own culture also to evolve I don't see it as narcissistic personality trait to be standing for something. But I see it as a narcissistic trait when you're just slandering somebody because you want to destroy their reputation for no reason. I personally prefer to be true to myself. 
even if this incurs the ridicules of others. Better than to be false and encourage my own memories. And I am ready to change my position on certain stuff. But you come the trigger. You need to come up with a valid excuse. And saying that you are liking the taste of animals is not a valid excuse or argument or how well you want to use that word. Dependent on your motive of communication. We can make this world a better place. But we need to stop believing that we are so special, that we are the center of the universe. We are not the pillars of this earth. We are not important. We are not the managers of this planet. That are insects. The way we, we act now is the destroyer. Right now, I see a little bit of improvement because people are moving less around and because of the coronavirus. Uh, the, they are in China is so much better now because people stay in their home and not flying around not driving the car so much as before so that's not good thing that's that come from the coronavirus just like the ban of wild animal consumption i think they should uh, make it illegal forever because uh, it is unnecessary and Quietly, frankly, barbaric. And yeah, I also judge stuff that happened in my country. I judge some stuff that is happening in Australia also. With that despicable thing, pig fast, that I hold any year in Sydney. I've made a video about that, by the way. If you want to check that out. For as long as man will be the ruthless destroyer of other living beings, he will not find health or peace. Indeed, I will say the seeds of hatred, murder and brutality will never harvest peace or love. It will only sign hate. We need to cut to the roots of anthropocentrism to get peace on the when darkness and light become one, the reality splintered away and the truth become visible and go vegan. So we are going to limit the amount of pesty little zoonetic diseases as much as possible. Specifically trying to eliminate the ones who are the most potent because they are actually breed in those hell conditions we call animal agriculture. 